Hey guys, what's up? This is Romit, your digital consultant and coach and founder of the Millennial Entrepreneurs Club. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to design anything related to your social media. So with respect to your Facebook, your Instagram, your LinkedIn, anything that is design related, I'm going to show you how you can design your own stuff without having to hire anyone or without having any Photoshop experience. So make sure you stay tuned till the very end. So the number one most user-friendly website to design anything is canva.com. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. It's very simple and the best part is that it is free. Exactly, it's free to use. So this is really awesome. So let me just bring up my screen. Go to canva.com. Now once you go to canva.com, you just, you just sign up for free. You can connect using your email or connect using Facebook, whatever you want. And uh, once you log in, and then I'm going to show you how the whole interface looks and I'm going to do some uh, test designs to show you how you can create uh, whether it's a Facebook post, whether it's Instagram post, whether it's uh, anything to do with design. I'm going to show you a bunch of examples so that you can, you know, do it for yourself and practice and uh, do it for your social media as well. All right. I use Canva for everything. All my designs are from Canva. I have zero Photoshop knowledge um, and I just am really grateful for this platform. It's made life easy for a lot of uh, online entrepreneurs who design their own stuff and who do not have any, you know, fancy experience with uh, creative, uh, you know, tools and softwares. This is a very simple user friendly website that allows you to do a bunch of stuff. And I'm going to show you exactly how. So now we are inside the um, interface of Canva. So it says over here has literally design anything. So when you want to get started, you can see they have a lot of preset dimensions. So whether it's a Facebook cover, phone wallpaper, Facebook post, the dimensions are already preset. So let's see if you want to basically create, uh, let's take an example, right? And the best part is that it's not just limited to social media. If you want to create your logo, if you want to create a presentation, uh, if you want to do a video, infographic, invitation, cards, you know, business cards, brochures, a collage, resume, uh, business cards, I said that, book covers, certificates, it's, it's got everything under one roof. All right. So let's, let me show you how it really works. Let's design a Facebook post. Okay. So you just click on Facebook post and it opens up a new tab, but let me just show you, you can see this search bar over here. So whatever you want to design, you can just type it. So let's say it's something for Facebook. Then it'll basically in the drop down give you a whole list of all the different Facebook, uh, you know, image. Uh, image designs that are available for you to use that are preset. Okay, so we're gonna go and create a Facebook post. So now you see over here, this is a blank canvas. Now if you see on the left, okay, I'm gonna go uh, step by step with everything on the left side menu. So the first is templates. Now you see over here, these are templates which are already made for you free to use. Okay, but not all are free. I'm gonna show you how to recognize if there is any template that is a premium, right? So Canva has a free and a premium uh, service. So you do not require to subscribe to the premium at all. You know, I've been using Canva for more than a year and I've only used it for free. I've not paid Canva a single rupee, a single dollar. Okay, which is awesome. So as you can see over here, there are a bunch of templates. Now you can customize these templates. So let's just take one that is, uh, you know, really cool to use. See this one over here that is already designed. And it is, look at that, it's so clean. So you can literally now, okay, you can customize this completely as per your requirement. So let's say you want to create a Facebook post for, uh, let's say this is a webinar, okay? So let's say if I want to host a webinar, I can just click over here. So as soon as I click over here, this element over here, this box, right? You'll see the corresponding editing tools available to you. This is the font, so you can change the font. There are like, thousand fonts maybe this is the size this is the color of the font if you want to make it bold okay not all fonts have the bold feature so just keep that in mind italic underline the alignment if you want to make this all capital or small then you can do that um, if you want to basically add bullet points and this is the spacing all right so these are the menu items over here so you can just 
you know edit it like you normally would so let's just say uh you know learn how to use canva okay and i'll put this over here and say from and uh free webinar okay featuring from it and canva.com okay and the date is whatever and it says register okay i don't want this remove it okay so now i have a ready to use post that i can post on facebook within a few minutes that it was designed right because i use a template and i edit it based on my requirements now let's say let's look at the other elements okay now this is uh, an element over here i can move this anywhere i want okay i can even change the color to anything i want okay i can do the same for all these as well now let's say i don't like all these so i can just delete them so all i'm doing is clicking on it and pressing delete okay so now i have this i can even move this whole thing and center it okay now what if i want to add a nice background so i can either change the color of the background to any color i want okay or i can go into background over here you see background so over here you see there are different backgrounds so let's just take something simple i click over here and you see how it's automatically it's uh, set itself in the background now obviously this is uh this is too dark so let's take something light so i'll click on this and now we have this ready so let's say i want to add some more images so you see over here now the next uh, part of the menu is photos so photos are basically photos that canva is providing to you to use for free now not all photos are free so if i want to look for a particular type of photograph let's say let's say i want to look for a laptop picture so i just select laptop now you see over here it says free and then you see over here it's got this uh you know it says over here pro so that is only if you're using canva pro that's a premium version okay we want to just stick to free we don't need to get a uh, premium at all so let's say i want to use this image so now this image has come here but it's blocking our text okay so what do we do is that you see this over here so you need to make sure that you're selecting the element that you want to edit and those corresponding options will come on top okay so now this is selected so if i just click out and i come back and select it so if i click out you see nothing is there on top but if i go back and click here i can see the corresponding uh, options so i click on position now i want to send this way i want to send this backward right i want the font to be in the front so i send it back okay and now as you can see it's not really visible but i can just move this here i can move this here i can come back here and let's say i want to make this smaller put this here right something like this okay we can make this image also small you can make it big okay and if you want to like if you want to remove a part of the image then you can just you see this curse this part over here you can just only reveal what you want from that image okay so if you automatically uh just stretch it then it'll expand but to use the whole image you just keep it like that and there you have it we just make it okay so you see that we just created something on facebook now this is uh, obviously not exactly the best work i've done but let's let's make it more interesting so now when you come to photos right now you know how to use photos you can look for any photograph that canva has in its stock the next point is elements now elements is where you really want to get creative so these are basically shapes so let's say you want to add any shape so we want to add a shape over here and we want to put this text of us in this box so what do we do is basically just make sure the font is covered okay and then what did we learn we learned to position it back so we take it back okay and there you have it so let's just make this small let's put this over here let's put this over here and bring this down over here okay now if you want to use any other elements um you know like they have so many stuff if you want to like add a button over here and say okay like let's just change the color and say register for webinar or something okay so now we've added a button over here now if you want to add text on this button the next item over here is text okay 
so it's quite simple now we, even within the text they have templates that you can use so this is really great you know if you want to create a you know a card a wedding card um, if you want to create a, a brochure a poster you know this is really good to use so we just basically add a normal heading okay now over here we can change the font so let's see what font they've used here it's HK okay this one so we just click over here select everything and we look for this one so it's now the same font we make it small let's say we get 21 okay now we just drag this over here and we say register for a webinar okay so let's see what else we can add over here just align this let's say we just want the laptop put this here drag this here and drag this here so, so far it's looking okay and right, I'm just keeping the whole black and white theme over here I'm normally a very colorful person as you can see my t-shirt but uh, let's make it a little more colorful okay right there you go and let's see if you can change this to something darker okay okay we changed uh, the background so let's take something okay so not bad let's we want to make it more colorful okay so let's do one thing let's just connect this over here so it looks like one all right register for webinar you can always see you see this this line that comes in the middle it shows you your alignment you make sure this is here now let's say you want to add something on top okay so basically you can add another heading over here drag it up again choose the font that you want to make sure that you're you know you're consistent with your font so it looks uh, you know in sync uh, let's say you want to just put uh, you know something like uh, you know uh, don't miss out okay so let's say I want to make all this capital I can just click on that and do that now you can't really see the text because of the, the background so we can again come back to elements create this box come over here and make sure it just covers the font okay and there you have it okay so we've created this in what under like a few maybe 10 15 minutes max right so you can do the same thing for your you know for your Facebook post for any requirement that you have for design Canva is really amazing now if you go on the left hand side um, music is something that I personally don't use because I don't create any video content on Canva but you can explore this I haven't used it so I'm not going to go into it videos also I don't really create but as you can see they have their videos that you can use so in case if you want to you know uh, add some of these free video templates to your main video I think you can use that as well I practically for my personal use I only use uh, Canva for image and image editing and designing not videos um, this is your background which you saw uploads are basically if you want to add your own upload your own picture so if I want to add uh, any picture from here then you know I can just uh, you know I can do that I can upload it if any video I want to upload I can do that as well so let's say I just want to you know so to upload a picture you just click on upload and then you just uh, select the file that you want to upload and then it'll come over here and let's say if I want to just add this image then uh, I can do that as well okay obviously it's not fitting over here now let's say you have an image this is a bonus tip for you guys now let's say you have an image that is exactly like this but you want to remove the background right so I'm going to share with you a free resource all you got to do is go to this website called remove dot bg so when you go over here okay you can remove the background so sometimes you have like a white background or a, you know and you don't want the background you just want the element like in this case we want to just capture the mug so let's see if uh, you know this website can do that for us so when you come over here all you got to do is just upload the image uh, let me just see where the image is okay it's here click on open now as we can see it's uploading and uh, you're gonna see the magic over here in just a few seconds boom you there it just removed the entire background you click on download 
Okay, so it's a little, uh, it's not actually not bad. So this is great if you have your personal pictures and backgrounds, you just want to get uh, capture just your image. So this is a great way to do that. So remove.bg, remember that? I'll put a link below so you can know. Now let's remove this. Now we have a new image. So we'll upload an image over here. And uh, okay, let's take this. And now we're going to, so let's see, now we have that. We can just put this over here. And there you have it. So now you've learned how to use Canva in just a short span of time. Now this is something that will come to you with practice, right? So this is what we've created so far. I know it's a little funky, but this is just for you to understand how easy it is to do it. So let's go and see what else we can create with Canva. Um, let's say you want to create a logo. So you come over here, you can look for logo or you can do what? Like I told you earlier, just come here and type logo and you'll see there are so many different logo for a t-shirt, sports logo, home furnishings logo. That is just insane, right? So you just click on logo and if you have a new company or whatever, you can see all the logos over here that you can use, you can edit, right? So let's just take, uh, let's take this one and uh, it's all done for you, right? This is, and imagine this is all free. So if you're not using Canva, use Canva, all right? Okay, so here we are with this. Now, this is a logo that has already been created. You can change the name, you can change the sub headline, you can add more, you know, stuff, more elements to this, um, and you can use this for absolutely free. All right, that's the best part. Um, so, this is actually really simple. As you can see now, all the templates on the left hand side have changed to be, uh, you know, to basically be logo related. Now, if we go and look for something else to design, now, Another thing is that with Canva, let's say you want to create something where you know the dimensions already. So you can come over here and click on create a design and it says over your custom dimensions. You come over here and you can enter the exact dimensions of the image you want to create, right? So once you do that, then Canva will basically uh, provide you with the empty canvas with your dimensions. So make sure to check that out as well. Um, and that's about it. I think this is more about, you know, you going in and learning and applying yourself. That's where the real fun is. And if you're a creative person like me, then you're going to thoroughly enjoy this process. So I have covered everything that you need to know in order for you to start using Canva, especially for your social media or anything design related. And uh, I hope you really found this valuable. I had a lot of fun recording this video and I hope you found this extremely valuable and fun. And I want you to go out there and use Canva for all your design requirements. And uh, let me know in the comments below if you found this interesting. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. Your feedback is important. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. This is Roma Jaitfani, a digital consultant and coach. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, God bless, and bye-bye.